Monday night, uh, Memorial Day weekend, 2021. Hope everybody had a good, good holiday weekend. I know I did. Spent some time with friends, family. So it's Monday night, just relaxing here in the garage, tinkering with the razor. I'm gonna take it out next weekend. So I figured I'd uh, pull the wheels off, check the brake pads and pull the hubs out. And I got a greasing tool to grease the wheel bearings. And then I took my belt cover off, sitting right there. It's good to blow it out every now and then every now and then with compressed air get all the dust off the clutches and off the belt plus you can check it for cracks and stuff it's not that old it's a 2018 but uh i already got like 800 miles on it so brake pads are starting to get down there a little bit this one doesn't look too bad i pop the rest off see what they look like I figured while I was doing this, I would uh, mess around with the CT761 here, snap on. Took the lug nuts off this side, no problem. I swear this gun could take this whole machine apart. Let's see though, Let's see if it takes this set off. These are the lug nuts on this machine. Last time I uh, greased the wheel bearings, I torqued them to spec. So these lug nuts should still be torqued to 120 foot pounds. Use the snap on tech angle there. And that center nut right there, those are torqued to 180 foot pounds. All right, let's see. Oh, got the 15 millimeter on there. Switch that on there. 19 millimeter. say it zinged them right off but it took them off I have to blow all this out with some air and those brake pads don't look too bad they're starting to get down there though well I was interested to see if it would take this uh, axle nut off here that thing's a 27 millimeter though the only thing is I don't have any 3A drive impacts or chromes that go up to 27, so I'm gonna have to use my snap-on half-inch drive impact. I'm gonna have to put a, an adapter on it. But we're definitely gonna lose power there. Let's see. I need, I need a 3A to a half-inch, there we go. And then uh, two weeks from now, not next weekend, but the weekend after, will be another giveaway. Still got these bad boys sitting in here. So two weeks, make sure to check back. Get entered in the giveaway for those. Anyways, let's see real quick. Let's stick this on in there. Let's stick this big boy. Sorry about the shaky camera. I know that was pretty rough there. <laughs> Probably not going to do it. But... Let's see, in reverse, yeah. Milwaukee 3H drive with 18 volt. 
So that's definitely a big difference. That's 14.4. Come over here, grab this battery. Actually, let's grab this battery off the weed whacker. Gotta figure out what to do with this table I got into my garage right now. I got a new fire pit out there. The Milwaukee Weed Whacker. That thing is awesome. That thing works great. Let's see. Put this on there. Side up, right? Just grab the half inch gun. It just zips it right off. Like, couple, do, 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 not even, do, do, and it's off, you know. Less beating up with a socket in the nut. And, and my drive line there. Anyways, I'm just messing around. I wanted to make a video. I try to get one out every weekend anyway, so. That's what it is. Not much this weekend. Uh, no tools came in. I do have some more snap-on tools on order. Um, probably have those for a video next weekend. Got the two tech angles out. What I like about Polaris is they got all the torque specs in the service manual there. So when I put it all back together, I can torque everything down to spec. I like that. It's nice. Anyways, let's see how much dust is actually in here real quick. fellas and ladies uh if there's any watching don't forget to check back in have a good one i'm out